welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows, movies, and movie trailers. Today's TV show that I will be reviewing is Altered Carbon Season 1, Episode 3, In a Lonely Place. But before I get into the review, if you are enjoying the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications. And if you haven't watched this TV series or are not caught up with the episodes, consider this your spoiler warning. Now, let's get into the review. So this episode, well, before I get into the episode, in episode two, we are left with Kovac and the, I, I think they're called Met, is what I, they keep on saying, like Met. So they're like the rich elite, basically. So we find that Kovacs had or slept with the billionaire's wife, Bancroft, and they were being watched by some kind of fly or, or insect that had a camera on them. And basically, so we leave off of that, which is important to episode three. So as we jump into episode three, there is this disposition. We see these two little kids kind of going over a story and they're both looking into into this book. So I'm, I'm assuming at this point, or I assumed at this point, that it was Kovacs and his sister kind of going through, through this book about this very scary... Um, character in this book and you know which is i guess it's, it's it's meant to be part of it but again i'm coming into this series with no prior knowledge about everything so as an outsider looking in three episodes deep you're still so super super confused so i'm starting to believe that actually reading the source material it would be a better starting point than to go right into these to these episodes or even into this miniseries or at least get familiar with what you're going to watch because you will get lost real quick especially this being the third episode of this series you feel just as lost as you did when you started and there was a line in there from Kovacs I know I'm jumping a little bit ahead but he's at a party and he says the same thing that I just said you know he's investigating the murder of Bancroft and but it's like there's this party and it's just the guy that hired him is almost impeding his investigation but he says a line where he says I feel I'm at the exact point I'm no farther ahead than what I was when I started. So I thought that was, it's pretty dead on to this series so far. You're no farther ahead. I mean, you get the premise of the sleeves and the, and how humans think that they're gods and such. So that is pretty much put out there as just the, the rawness of it, but I still hit the same problems. It just looks like you are overdoing it. It's over. I appreciate a good imagination, but there was a scene. So anyways, without getting too ahead of, you know, with my complaints about this episode, as you could tell, there's just way too much. And I get the fact that this is their director's way or, or the showrunner's way of introducing these characters for us but it's just too much it's too much to try to follow they're introducing characters that you're not really even somewhat attached i thought that or I'm, i think that they could have gone through and done this so differently and it would have turned out to be a hundred times better and they could have told the exact same story and had way better results. There's just, it's just too complicated for, for you to follow. If you don't know the source material for a show that's only been, or has two, two seasons, they have a good following. And I've realized that when I talk about this show to fans and they've, they've, they've been the ones that have explained certain things to me that I'm like, Oh, okay. That makes sense. And they're like, Oh, you have to read the source material, which I stated when I 
first decided to watch this this TV series. And again, I'm still hopeful that as I'm getting into it farther, maybe you know, in the, in the middle, that it's going to start flowing. But three episodes in, it's super complicated. The it's super graphic. Again, it's like someone took their, you know, wildest imagination and put it out there or, and put it in this movie. There was a scene where, you know, so anyway, so basically there is in episode two, we, we get introduced with Elliot and he's the one that has his daughter trapped. Something traumatic happens and. So, but our star Kovacs gets invited to this party that Bancroft sets in his mansion. And he basically invites everyone that he has suspicions that would have had a reason to kill him. And our, you know, Kovac knows that it's a setup. He's kind of weary that it's about him sleeping with his wife in the, in the prior episode, but he ends up being forced to go to this party. So he gets, um, he tries to go or he gets backup from, from Elliot since he knows that he's part of, or somewhat knows the underworld and whatnot. So they kind of, you know, team up and to not get blindsided basically to go to this party and the same thing happens to our detective Ortega she's basically forced to go to this party so again Bancroft is just having everyone that either like I said he either has suspicions of or that he hates um so anyway so in this party you know all of the who's who's basically at this party in this world and they have this scene where they're eating they're eating this this food and they have a close up of what looks to be like a a tiger and they're eating the skin like the tiger is just in the middle of the floor or the table and they're just eating it right out of the out of the body and it kind of gave you this cult feel which that is what they're trying to do that the elites like in real life in our life there's these cults and they do weird stuff so they, 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 they did that, but they, again, they go way too, too over the top. So basically, you know, he, there's a lot of talking, a lot of going back and forth. He's interviewing people. And so his friend, while they're at this party, you know, again, they just going around and talking to people, but Elliot goes into a computer room and downloads some file that I'm assuming are going to come into play like recording footage or security footage that are coming to play in the upcoming episodes are our, our hero, basically Kovac, because again, you know, if you're super wealthy, you, you, you get bored, I guess, and you want to see extreme things and you start having like blood sport basically, which was the whole scene was ridiculous. The, the, the fact that that is entertaining entertainment and you have to, you have to see that the, the episode three and that fight where this anti-gravity thing that for a fight if you're rich i get that maybe you having an uh, a gravity field makes you the talk of the town but there could have been a lot better ways to do blood sport than having that lame ass fight so our hero kovacs basically fighting like these t a couple that in the initial fight they were supposed to fight each other to the death you know obviously kovac has a heart and he tried to stop it and then he gets put into the fight. Uh, so again, it's just super, super confusing as far as like, what's the point then? Um, and I'm again, I'm sure there's going to be some kind of big twist towards the end that explains why he's doing this in his own murder investigation. Maybe it's just all for fun because he has all this money. So why not waste everyone's time because you think you're God? So. As he's doing this, I, I know I'm, I'm going back a little bit because it's kind of important to the story, but um, Elliot and Kovacs kind of come to an agreement where if he helps him, he will help his daughter. So uh, Kovacs takes Elliot back to the hotel where Poe is. Poe is the AI of the, of the hotel. And he basically comes to an agreement where he's going to try to help his, his daughter. So in this process, you know, so going back to the party, the fight happens and Ortega saves our hero or what we assume to be the hero Kovacs from being killed or, or being severely, severely injured. 
and she saves them and whatever and and you know the rich guy calls them over and says hey you know i don't like people sleeping with my wife so he was the one that set him up and even though in the prior episode it made it seem like someone else was was recording them or whatnot but so he basically tells them like hey you know what i've been married to my wife for like forever and a day and i don't appreciate you sleeping with her and so basically that's it and he says oh do you have anything to add to to this investigation which obviously he doesn't so he walks away but then we have this outside scene with more talking talking and i don't know why he doesn't bring elliot but he goes back to this to that brothel to talk to the woman that knew about the woman that was killed in episode two the fallen angels episode and of course we got a double cross he gets injected with some kind of weird poison and we have them back and that's basically the end we don't know what's gonna happen but so it ends there there's some kind of reason into all of this but all in all it's very it's super disappointing i'm starting to get disappointed in this series and i'm only three episodes in and i go into these with an open mind and saying hey this is going to be over the top but even when it's a futuristic city the way they're trying to to make me believe that it is they sure do you know mention and and do things that we do now and that is just takes you out of the reality of it you can't you can't try to sell me on a futuristic you know world and yet still do things that we do now currently it's just gonna make my mind you know it's not gonna connect the two so i find that you're just the most off-putting thing about this whole this whole uh this whole series i mean i could go i could try to go and break it down and let and point out every one of the lines or something that's a prop or something that it just doesn't make it, it's, it shouldn't be there for a, such an advanced society or even a society that is that advanced and is falling into some kind of chaos those things should never exist it that's just the way history works i mean it, stuff gets thrown out i mean the stuff that was in 20 years ago isn't in now and this tv show at least for the first three episodes now that i've said this it's not real it didn't realize it i'm hoping that it's going to realize it at some point and we'll see but that's my review of it it's very disappointed i was i was extremely disappointed in this in this episode but i'm gonna continue on and we'll see if it picks up but with that said uh and you disagree with my if you disagree with me you know put your thoughts in the comments let me know what i'm not seeing what what am i not picking up on this and, and again i'm putting it out there i haven't read the source material and i'm aware that there's this you know an, a spin-off anime uh series from this but i'm not trying to even watch that but it, it mean is it that important for you to be able to you have to have the the prior knowledge of what we're watching to enjoy it and if it does that's a problem because not a lot of people more the majority of people aren't going to go out and watch or buy the book and and do that before investing into a tv show you kind of want to invest yourself in a tv show get turned on by it and then go back and buy the the og work right same thing that happened with marvel a lot of people got into the movies and then started you know going into the comics same thing with the game of thrones they fell in love with game of thrones then bought the book same thing with harry potter same thing with game you know with a I was gonna say the other one with Lord of the Rings. You know, you you start with the movies, and then you go back to the source material. I'm sure there's people that get the source material first before they get into the movies, and that's great. You know, these movies were made because of your fandom, but for the for the majority of us that aren't familiar with this, there's just a better way than doing it this way. Three three episodes in, and all this talking and disposition and you know trying to create some kind of mystery the visuals the all of it is just I, I hate to be that harsh of a critic but honestly like if i wasn't just reviewing this series i if i was just a normal person i would quit i would have quit after this i would have gave it a, a fair shot maybe another episode 
but this one right here was really really close for me to just turn off the series so anyways if you disagree let me know in the comments and like always that's a wrap